Here's an idea. Everything in your life should be that which you want. And nothing in your life should be that which you don't want. I have a mentor who says, enjoy living the life that you've chosen. That's a really powerful statement. And for some people, it may come off as passive aggressive at first, but it's a reality and it's a reflection of the fact that we are all living the lives that we want. If you're upset about something, if something's not going your way, if you don't have all the things that you want, if you haven't accomplished the things that you want, it's really because perhaps not enough effort has been put into those things or because Perhaps you don't really want those things. I believe, as I've gone all over the world and seen this in pretty much every culture, most people are not living intentionally. Most people are on autopilot because they're trained by their parents, by their grandparents, by their friends, by the people in their neighborhood, by their husband, their wife, their boyfriend, their girlfriend. There are societal expectations that are put on them. Now, there are some expectations that bind us together. Don't go out and kill someone. That's fine. But when you are suffering in life or when you're living a life that's unexamined because you're following expectations, you're not living the life that you could be. You're living the life that you've chosen because you've chosen like 90 some percent of people to go along with what everyone else expects of you. To go to the prom, to have a boyfriend, have a girlfriend, get married, have kids, go to the right school, go to the school your father went to, don't do that thing that your father did, get a certain job, continue the family business, whatever the case may be. What's fascinating to me is even in some of the world's wealthiest countries, you'll see someone who makes an incredible income, a multi-six-figure income, and they're essentially broke because after they pay their high taxes, after they move to the right neighborhood, after they buy the right car, after they send their kids to the right schools, after they do all of that, they're left with nothing. That's why, from a political point of view, I think we've gotten to the point in the world where everyone expects everything from the government because somehow they've gone out and spent all their money doing the stuff that society expects of them, caving in to the expectations from people that they perhaps don't even like. And so what I want you to focus on if you want to be successful as a nomad capitalist is living life intentionally, living a life that you've chosen and choosing what it is that you really want, not pressured by what other people want you to do. What I've really tried to do in in my thoughts on uh, family uh, is realize I'm not going to be pushed around. I'm not going to be pressured to do what other people want me to do. Uh, that's hard for all of us is to be able to say no to people in certain circumstances. It's hard to tell people even in business no. And perhaps it's hard not to want to put on your kids certain expectations to do things the way you think they should be done. But we all need to live the life that we've chosen and the life that we want. And I think that the whole point of what we talk about here, go where you're treated best, is that you are truly doing what is best for you. People push back and they have all kinds of excuses. They say, I'm an action taker. Do you know how many people come to me and say, Andrew, I'm an action taker. I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to do what it takes. And at the last minute, they choke. And you know what it is? They always have an excuse. But you don't understand. No, I do understand. And that is the uh, living the life of an intentional person is you almost have to be unreasonable. Everyone else in society is going to tell you, you are unreasonable because you are saying that you can do what no one else thinks can be done. You are choosing to live your life differently from everyone else. You are making different decisions than the people who are following in the same well-worn path. People are going to call you names at times. They're going to say you're unreasonable. They're going to say that you're a jerk. How dare you try and buck the trend? You owe us. You owe your family. You owe your friends. Why are you doing this thing that treats you best? It's not fair. But it's not their life. You have to do what's best for you. And if you're not able to stand up and reject the societal norms, then you probably never will be able to go where you're treated best. The reason that people don't do the stuff we talk about, the, people that, the reason that people pay high taxes, the reason that people put up with stuff they don't like, they live in places they don't like, they deal with people they don't like, they have a lifestyle they don't like, 
they deal with everything that they don't want. They say they don't want, but secretly they do want it because they're not able. It's more important for them to just go along with the flow, to keep their parents happy, to keep their friends happy, to not rock the boat. That's more important to them. That's their number one priority. It's not going offshore, getting a second passport. It's not living somewhere else. It's not going where it's read the best. It's not rocking the boat. That's the decision that you have to make. Because if I look at one of the big reasons that people never even make it to the offshore planning stage, it's because they are doing what everyone else wants them to do. It all comes down to those societal norms. And what I've seen in over 100 countries is every culture has something interesting to offer. Every culture has something great. What frustrates me is that many cultures are so proud that they don't want to cherry pick from all the other cultures that have already figured out what they haven't. They have some things that are great, but they don't want to fix the things that aren't so great. If you cherry pick, if you divide your life, divide your finances, divide everything you do into only taking what's best, that's going to go against societal norms. That is what may cause some people to think you're a jerk. But it's what's ultimately going to give you the best. And if you want the best, then that's the kind of life that you should choose. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.